Oh, okay. So, um, it's getting pretty close to Halloween, and well, many people are going to be dressed as skeletons, spooky, scary skeletons. But don't you wish that there was a theme song? To don't you wish you really had something to wait? Wait a second. Oh yeah, you do. I forgot about that. Um. So it's it's called Spooky Scary Skeleton. Obviously, to go along with the you know the spooky, the scary, and the skeleton parts. It's the spooky, scary skeleton. So, enough talking. Let's actually see how to play this. So, this is a tutorial. This is not a playthrough. As many of you would probably have guessed by now, you were wrong. This is a tutorial. Okay, so, um, first part, it's pretty easy. because it didn't sound right to me. It goes... It's okay. It sounds okay at first, but... <sighs> you just don't want it to happen. It just doesn't sound good. So... Sort of create it. And then it gets a bit more complicated. Just two notes in the right hand. sense to you eventually. Okay, so assuming everybody wants to learn the right hand first, um, it's going to start on G. Um, I actually don't, I don't, uh, I did not prepare for this. Um, I don't know what key it is. Um, it's, I know it's a minor key, not major. I have no idea what specific key it is, but anyway, it starts on G. Um, the G just above middle C. So G, G, A, B, B. Um, just so you know, the F sharp, there's the F and the C are going to be sharp unless I tell you otherwise. So F, you're going to sharpen. C, you're going to sharpen. Those two. Okay. Now we've got that out of the way. Um, uh, every other note is natural, unless I tell you otherwise, too. So, um, G, A, B, B, G. So, G, A, B, B, G. And then, so, that's the transition from... I'm just going to say F at this point. F. And then these two, they aren't actually going to be normal sharps. Um, normal black notes, whatever, whatever, whatever flats or sharps, I don't really care. Um, but I'm, I'm going to call it, I'm, I'm going to call them sharps. So, um, G sharp and A sharp are, are played, even though they aren't normally played. So, we've gotten through this part, and then we go to F. G sharp, A sharp, A sharp, so, F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp, twice, I'm going to just practice that a bit, because you're going to have to go pretty quickly in between the intervals, um, the second A, you 
go simply back to F. And this is where the starts. So, whoops, I messed up there. Um, anyways, so D. It may seem a lot to take in at first, because, obviously, it's a new piece, but it's a hard piece, so if you aren't very good at piano, this is not the piece you want to play. Um, Thank you. 
two up chords. So you've got something in the left hand. Um, one on and down. Then the next chords. Um, so starting with the right hand is another A sharp, another A sharp, a C, and an F. So again, it's an F, an A sharp, a C, and an F. So now let's work in the right left hand of um so let's start with the basics. The chords we're going to be learning. So um first chord um is G. So G it's pretty easy. So what you do is you move up G, you basically play another G chord with a D in the middle. And then so G, D and G, another G chord, another G octave chord. And a D in the middle. On F, an F sharps, two F sharps, and then a C sharp in the middle. So a C in the middle. So and um, here's how it goes with the right hand. So together, together with a second A. Concerned, you, all you need to do is just play all the notes together. A couple of my 
classroom, but they're supposed to be like that because it's a minor key. So what we learned, so I'm going to play this quickly, what we learned so far. Um, I messed up there. I so just had the F. I just don't have the F natural. It's okay. It's okay. So. Okay. I'm gonna play 
slide an octave down so it hits close to the camera. So, so the same thing, except for the fact that you're adding a note on top. And it's kind of what I'm saying. It's not the exact same thing. Don't.